Daddy, Daddy Show. Are you ready for the 12 days of Christmas painting challenge? Come with me and let's count down together. Hello again. Today we're painting a very close friend of Santa, Rudolph. Yes, let's paint our fun and friendly reindeer. Okay, I have my materials here. My primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and black and white. My paper or canvas, my two brushes, flat and round brush, paper towel, a pencil, and a cup with water. Very good, today I'll also use a bowl, a small bowl, and a small cup. Nothing too big, just enough to fit in your paper or canvas. So let's get started and trace the bowl. I want you to find the center and then go a little bit to the left and then a little bit to a little bit down. So it's going to be a little off center, not a hundred percent in the middle. So go ahead, place it and then trace it. Very good. I'll do the same with the cup. I'm actually going to use the smaller side, which is the bottom, because I don't want it to be too big. And then I'll find a little bit of the, the, not so much the center, a little bit below the center, just a tiny bit. And then trace it. Just about that. It's a little off and it's all good. Now what I'm going to do is I want you to think about half of this bowl being right over here on top. So just try to do half a circle on top. Got it? Just like that. And then let's just finish the body and go like this. Just bring it down. So the reindeer is actually a little bit off to the side and that's all good. He's kind of just peeking at, at us. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna continue and we're going to make his ears. Now his ears are gonna be up here all the way on the side and on top. And I want you to just make like a, like a teardrop on both sides. Just like that, doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little, two little ears. And then for his little horns here, he's, we're going to just make it simple. And I want you to make some lines and then curl at the end. Do your best. Make a line and then curl. Got it? Let's give him some eyes right over here on the top part. Two little almond shaped eyes. And we're going to give him a little scarf. Make him nice and warm. So just make a line right underneath the circle here gonna follow that same contour and then give it a little make another line going down as if you were you know folding the the scarf um, I think this is it this is good enough for our drawing so if you need to go back on the video and watch how I drew this go ahead pretty much use the bowl and the cup and then half a circle, give the two little ears to the side, and then just some lines with the curve, two little circles, and then you just are going to follow the shape of the circle on the bottom here and make another line for the, the rest of the scarf. Very good, let's get to painting. I'm gonna get my biggest brush, wet it a little bit, and I'll be using blue because he's outside and it's cold. It's really cold, so I'm going to use blue. 
but my blue is really dark so I'm gonna get a little bit of white and I'm gonna mix it and it'll be a light blue so if you have a light blue just use the light blue that you have and then just paint outside around him so you can you can outline outline first and then paint around paint the rest with more freedom Keep going. Outline. Now here for, for this part, I want you to just paint right over it. Because I, it's gonna be very hard if you have to paint around the lines. Just go right over it, paint it. You'll still be able to see what you drew. And you should be fine. Should be fine you just go and you paint and if you if you could draw it once you'll be able to draw it twice I can still see my drawing have to make some more blue and just keep going around I'll probably just add a few little touches of white on the canvas here just so that way I have some dark blue, some light blue in the background. I think I like that look better than just solid. You can mix it as you go. And then as you blend, the colors will become one. But you still see a little bit of each one just like that good the background is finished now all I have to do is get started with the reindeer. But you know what I wanna do? I wanna add some snow before I go to the reindeer. I just wanna add a, another touch to the background so it's not finished because I think it needs more. So let me clean it up, clean up my brush. Clean your brush completely. And we're going to get some white and now get some water and put it in your white. Oops, be careful. And now you have nice and watery paint. Now I want you to aim your brush towards your painting, but you're going to pull it, pull the brush towards you. Okay, and aim it towards your painting. And now you're gonna create snow. So just do it over the blue part, which is the background. If you go on the reindeer, it's fine. We haven't even painted it yet, and it should be okay. There you go. Now it looks nice and fun. A fun, snowy day. Just go on the blue everywhere. And you're gonna have some bigger, you know, blotches of paint, some smaller ones, and, and that looks really cool when you can see all different sizes. Okay, now the background is finished and I'm going to clean my brush and start with the reindeer. My reindeer is going to be brown. So I'll make brown because I don't have brown here. So I have to make brown. And to make brown, we need a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, and a little bit of blue not much just a little bit and then you mix those colors together if you feel like it looks too green or too purple then you you can go and add more of the color that's missing so I was missing 
a little bit of red so I added more okay I think this is more of the brown that I want maybe I'll, I'll add a little more yellow so try to get a nice brown that you like you try not to use too much blue the blue will make the brown really dark fast so less of the blue and then if you need more you can add it as you go You haven't gotten the color I want okay this is more like it all right and then I'll add I'll probably add a little bit of white too just to make it more of a light brown yeah this is what I like all right let's get started with his face so I'm just gonna go around you can just you can do what I, I always do outline it Outline it. And then paint, in, paint inside. And this part here, we're gonna make it all one. I need more brown, see? You can make enough. Make sure you make enough when you paint. Otherwise, you have to keep mixing it. Okay, so right here, this should be all one. So we're not gonna make them two different areas anymore. Outline. And then paint it all one. You can paint right over the eyes. You'll be able to still see the drawing, if not, you can, can undo, you can kind of guess where it was. So I just made all of that his head, part of his head, so I'm not gonna separate it into two different areas. Just like that. Just like that, very nice. Okay, I'm going to now paint the body. So right over here under the scarf, try not to paint over the scarf, leave room for the scarf, and then paint the bottom where his little body is. Yeah, just like that, nice. And what I'll do too is add a little highlight. So I'm gonna get just a little more white in yellow okay so it'll be more like a pale yellow and then right over here get more white right over here blend it a little bit on the brown just as if the light is hitting the top of his nose and then a little bit also on the head on top of his head just a little highlight to add some more fun colors on his face so blend it with the brown that you already had there. Yeah. And add a little highlight, just a touch. So as you can see, just a little bit lighter. Just like that. Good. Okay. So I left space for that. We still have to paint his ears, and his ears are brown. So I'm just gonna put this brush inside the water. I'm gonna change brushes, a smaller brush. This is a smaller area, so I don't wanna go with the big brush there. I won't have as much control. And I'll make some more brown again, because my brown is finished. We are mixing the colors. Good, we'll get some white. All right, I have more brown. Now with this brown, paint his ears. So we'll outline it. And then paint it on the inside. Now 
We'll add a little highlight again, just like we did on the face. Just a little bit of white and, and a, a touch of yellow. And then just the top part of the ear, just add a touch, a, a touch of white. And that's it. You don't have to overblend it. Just a touch of white. Just like that. Leave it on the top side, on the top side of the, the ear. Good. Let's move right along. We're going to paint. We're going to paint his nose now. Now his nose, because he's, he's Rudolph, is, it's red, right? So get some red. Outline. That's the circle. If you want to flatten the circle a little bit, you can. So it doesn't look too round. You can kind of create the shape that you want. I made it a little flatter than the cup because I had room. And then I will add a touch of white towards the top. So remember, there is a little pattern here that I'm creating. I'm painting with one color and then I'm highlighting with white the top. Add another coat here of red. Just like that. Mm hmm And a touch of white on top. Yay! Good. Now what I'll do is Oh, let's move right along and we're gonna go to the scarf now. What color should we paint his scarf? You pick your color, whatever color you like. I'll paint green, just because it's a nice Christmas color. So to make green, you get a little yellow and blue mixed together. Make green. I'm gonna add a touch of white as well, just so to make my green a little bit lighter. So more of a light green that I'm using. And then you outline, just like we've been doing, outline the scarf. And then outline right under the, the face here. Try not to overlap the face too much. There you go. And then do the, the, the little piece hanging out. Make it all green. I have more like a light green. Any green works. And we're going to highlight it as well. So add a little white, just like that. And follow the contour, follow the shape of the, of the scarf. The scarf is a little bit round, so make your strokes a little more curved. Just like that. I think I'm gonna add a touch of yellow just to add some life and warmth. So I put a few strokes of yellow, you see? I think it's adding a little, a little more joy to it. I'll probably highlight some more. The white is getting dark. Just a few strokes of white. Highlight is supposed to make your painting stand out. If it's not standing out, try another coat. Do it one more time. Okay. Alright, so far so good. 
Let's move right along. I'm going to clean my brush and now let's paint his eyes. I hope you can still see where you drew your eyes, but if you cannot, just kind of figure out where you think it will go. It should go. So make them not too big. A little almond shape. I'm just using the the size of the brush and the shape of the brush and I'm just pressing it down and I'm getting that the shape that I want. You can fix it a little bit later but the shape is already there. You see? Just like that. Good. And now with the same brush and the same color we're going to paint this little oh wait I need more more add some water to your black because I want to make sure that your black is nice and flowy I don't want it to to be too dry because this needs to look smooth so you're just gonna pull it up and then make a little circle okay so you're gonna make a line and then curve it curl it so make a line and then curl it see my brush is dry that's why I needed to add water to the paint so I can actually do it and then do it again curl it and then pull it up from the middle and then curl it always reload your brush you don't want to do this with a dry brush do it again on the other side pull it and curl it Pull it and curl it. Mm, my brush is so dry. Okay. Adding a little water to my black. Pull it and curl it. One more time. Last one and curl it. I hope you have room in your... There you go. If you have to touch it up later you can all right I like it so far so good I'm gonna clean it up clean up my brush and just add like like we've been doing on everything else I'm gonna add a little highlight as well so with some white just a line on top of the black but not all of it I, I did it right around the curve. You see? As if the light is hitting right on top. Just like that. Good. Just a touch of highlight makes it stand out. And I'll also highlight the eyes right here. We got to do a little dot. Just a little dot on one side and the other side. Make sure they're both on the same, the same location on both eyes. There you go! Nice and easy. Here's Rudolph, ready to help Santa on his mission. I hope you enjoyed painting Rudolph with me. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye! Every day brings us closer to Christmas Day and makes us better artists. I would love to see what you painted, so post it on my Facebook page, at Spotty Dotty Show, so I can see it and you can get a chance to win prizes. See you again tomorrow for another painting challenge.